Hey, it's Dr. John DeGarmo here at the Foster Care Institute with this week's foster care tip. You know, we're all feeling a little bit crowded right now. The walls are closing a little bit. Maybe the ceiling feels a little bit shorter. During this time of social isolation and social distancing during the corona pandemic, it's normal. For foster parents, though, there's an even greater struggle because the children who are placed in their home, the children who have anxieties from the trauma they suffered, they're probably feeling even more anxiety. They have the same questions that you do. When is this going to end? What's going to happen next? At the same time, their anxieties are building. So what do we do with these children? My phone has been ringing off the hook from foster parents who are asking me, Dr. John, I don't know what to do with these kids. I'm spending more time with these kids than ever before. Their anxieties are rising, and I don't have the resources to support to help them. I'm getting the same questions from foster care agencies as well. So here's a few tips. You probably already know these tips, but here's a good reminder. This is a great time for you to help that child build attachment and build trust through a number of ways. First of all, make sure that child is off the phone and off the computer. They don't need to be in the computer and phone all day long. It's so unhealthy for a number of ways. Plus, during this time right now, the sexual predators are waiting to lure those kids in. That's gonna happen. So get them off the phones, get off them the computers, and engage them in activities. It's a beautiful day for a walk here where I'm at. Take the kids for a walk. Help them to learn new skills, maybe cooking. If the kids are younger, read a book for them. But do everything in a consistent schedule. For example, at our house, after dinner, we're going for a walk every day. And then we're learning a new skill. We're spending some time online learning to speak a new language. Even our seven-year-old's doing that. For our little kids, we're snuggling together with them and reading a story along with them. The kids are helping us bake playing basketball, uh, teaching them how to ride a bike. There's so many activities that you can engage these children in to help them relieve some of the pressure that they're feeling, relieve some of the anxiety they're feeling, at the same time build that important attachment and trust, and develop new learning skills. So this is a great time to build all of those skills, to get them off the computer, get them off the phone, engage with them, and you're gonna find that the walls are going further away and you're going to have some of the stress relieved off you as well. If you like this tip, make sure you sign up for my free weekly newsletter at the Foster Care Institute. Just go online, Foster Care Institute, sign up for the newsletter. You get lots of tips, videos, resources, articles, important webinars that you need right now, all there for you at the Foster Care Institute. For the Foster Care Institute with this week's Foster Care Tip, I'm Dr. John DeCarmo. Cheers.